Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this P flying animation in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn how to do designs like this in Adobe Illustrator, I have numerous tutorials on it. You can check them out. I will be giving the link in the description. So for now, let's proceed with the animation and let's jump on to After Effects for that. Okay, so here our first job is to pick up all the layers of the head, which includes eyes, mouth, face and this here one and here two. Let's put the anchor point of this head somewhere around here. Okay, now we're going to parent head with this particular body, this particular layer, this black portion. After that, I'm going to parent this one with this one, this yellow portion of the body. And let's name this one as well. This is the back side of the body. So let's parent this one with this one. And also I'm going to parent this tail with this one as well. And leg one, leg, leg three, leg four with this one. And leg one and leg two with this upper body, this yellow portion. So after that, we are going to animate the wings. Okay, so let's pre-comp one wing. And after that, let's increase the resolution of this composition. All right. So select this layer and put few pins over here. Select the puppet tool. Put one pin at this corner. One at this point, one at this point and one at this particular edge. Select puppet. Turn on that Wig Bezier plugin and go to links and constraints and then click on add bones so all these pins are converted into bone tools let's rename it so right now we're going to parent this one with this one let's rename it four and this one with this one in alternative basis and two with one Okay, so now we are going to put keyframes on the rotation property. Open the rotation, put keyframes. Then again, jump on to next three frames. And let's put keyframes over here as well. At this point, let's rotate it this side. Let's give it minus 20 degree of rotation. Give some rotation at this point as well. Let's give it 35. And let's give a rotation at this point as well. Let's give minus 30. And let's delete this one. We don't need it. All right. And after th at this point, we're going to rotate it in the opposite side. All right, then again, jump on to next three frames and copy the initial values and paste it over here. All right, press N to bring the work area end over here and select all the keyframes and is easy it and let's check out the animation. All right, now if we simply turn on the motion blur, yeah, it is looking better. Now let's put the loop expression over here. Press and hold the Alt key and click on it. And type in loop in plus loop out minus the value. And paste it the other properties as well. And let's offset the keyframes by one or two frames. Let's Start with one frame and let's check out. Let's check the animation. Alright, so we are going to go with this one. 
so right now this is the wing left wing part now let's solo this one and put the anchor point at this particular point after that let's copy it and select this layer let's rename it the right wing or R wing then select this one go to transform and flip it horizontally let's reposition it oh yeah it's looking in the perfect place so let's delete this wing illustration and let's check out okay we can even go further and let's select this two wing convert it into 3d layers and go to rotation slightly rotate it in the x-axis in this direction because when it's in front view it's not completely shown flat slightly this way and if we just say it yeah this one is looking better after that we can even copy this layers again and let's offset it again if you want to add more wings to the B yeah so like this you can animate the wing of the B and let's proceed with the body animation now so right now we are going to select these three wing layers and parent it with one wing layer and parent this wing layer with this body layer so right now if we move this body layer everything moves together let's change the anchor point position and put it over here okay so we are going to animate the position and the rotation of this body so let's put a keyframe on position but before that let's separate the dimensions and put keyframe on y axis let's jump on to next six frames and put a keyframe over here as well so at this point let's move it upwards a bit and at this point let's move it downwards a bit all right and after that let's jump on to next six frame and again next six frame and let's copy and paste the initial keyframe value select the keyframes and easy as it and let's copy the loop expression from here and paste it over here we can even add some rotation to this layer as well so for that press R and put the rotation property keyframe and after that jump on to the next keyframe and put a keyframe over here as well at this point let's rotate it in this side very slightly let's give it minus one degree of rotation and at this point one degree of rotation and at this point let's copy and paste the initial keyframe value and is is the keyframes let's copy the loop expression from here and paste it over here as well after that let's offset the rotation keyframe and also the body keyframes let's check out all right so like the this one is looking pretty nice so right now we are going to add some dimension movement to this okay so now when the b is moving down this will be the it will be rotating down a bit as well when it is moving up it will be moving up rotating upwards a bit as well so let's select the head property and put a keyframe on position at this point again put a keyframe let's move it upwards at this point and let's move it downwards a bit same with this one let's put the position and put a keyframe on position as well let's adjust the head again put it exactly at the center and after that we are going to move this yellow portion of the body now we are going to move the 
position of this tail as well. Let's add some keyframes on the leg one, leg two. And for the leg three and leg four, at this point, I will be moving it up a bit. And at this point, slightly downwards a bit. All right, so let's erase the keyframes. And let's jump on to the next position keyframe where the loop ends. And let's copy and paste the initial keyframe values from each of these layers. Let's copy this loop expression and paste it over here in all of these properties. All right, let's check out the animation. Okay, so as you can see, a simple movement in Y axis have give a little dimension like this. And we can even slightly offset it. All right, so this one is looking better. Now we can even add some dimension to the head as well. Open the key pre comp of the head and open the position properties of these layers and put keyframes. Then again, jump on to next six frames and put keyframes over here as well. So, at this particular initial position, it is the head is moving up. So, we can select the layers of the face, the elements of the face, and move it up and select the here one and here two and move it down like this and after that let's jump on to next six frame copy the initial keyframes and paste it over here let's easy is the keyframes and let's copy the loop expression from here and paste it in all of these properties Okay, so let's check out the animation. All right, so like this, you can animate the bee flying animation in After Effects. So I have animated the hair and the legs in the similar pattern in which I have animated the wings. I have simply added few puppet tool spins and converted it into bone tools and distorted it a bit by adding keyframes on the rotation property and slightly offset the rotation keyframes. So like this, you can animate the P animation. So that is it for this lesson. By the way, if you want to learn how to animate this background in fake perspective, we are going to do another lesson on this. So stay tuned for that. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down below. I will be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, Make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.